So in 2014, BlackBerry released the BlackBerry Passport. Uh, and this device alone, would, my BlackBerry Priv was one of my favorite devices. But as of January 2022, BlackBerry stopped supporting the operating system, which making their devices totally obsolete. Well, there's a company that's called Unihertz that's carrying the torch into the future. And oh boy, and oh boy, looks like they're doing a very good job at it. So I always wanted to try one of their devices. Well, in the building, I have the Unihertz Titan and oh boy, it brings me back to my roots. So let me give my thoughts about it. Sit back, relax, and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is uh, back with another video. So if you are a BlackBerry fan, welcome. You're right at home with this device. The Unihertz Titan is a device that caught my attention a while ago, and I've been having it for about a week, so this is not a full review, but I just want to give you guys my thoughts about it. But before I give my thoughts about it, let's go to and talk about the unboxing experience. First, looking at the box, it comes in a recyclable brown box, which is really nice. Opening the box, you're greeted to the user manual, the warranty card, oh. and the device itself. Oh, 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 wow. Look at this. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. Would you look at that? Oh. Mm. along with charger and charging cables. And guess what? With icing on the cake, this device, you will get a screen protector, which is really good. And you get all of this for a nice price of $349. I will leave those links down in the description below. So this unboxing experience, you get everything included in the box. <laughs> so sweet. So I know I'm late to the game, but let's talk about the device specs. This device has a huge 4.6 inch, 1432 by 1436 display, right? It has the MT processor with six gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of internal storage, dual SIM support or SIM or SD card support. Now on the rear, you got a 16 megapixel camera and in the front, you got an eight megapixel camera. Now, as far as video, this device can shoot up to 1440p resolution in the rear and in the front. Now the Unihertz Titan is IP67 water and dust resistance. And you know what? Let's talk about what's power this device. A massive 6,000 milliamp battery with wireless charging. Unfortunately, this device is running Android 10 to boot. So that's, that's something we're gonna talk about in this video. Now, this is a 4G device that supports T-Mobile and Verizon Wireless. Now, uh, we all know how AT&T roll, so don't try it on AT&T. Now, this device does have NFC, so that is a good thing. So let's talk. go over the device. On the right side, you got your volume rocker up and down along with a power key. On the left side, you have a pro programmable key and you got your SIM card slot. Now at the top, you got a headphone jack. Yeah, a headphone jack. And at the bottom, you got USB type C charging. And on the back, you got a dual speaker setup here, right in the back, along with the Unihertz symbol here on the back. Now in the front, bottom portion here, you got a massive keyboard that's really nice and clicky. Now you got a fingerprint scanner here and you have face unlock. This device does have some nice features to boot. Now, this device is kind of heavy at a little over 300 grams. So this is not a light device at all. It's very big, it's very bulky, it's very heavy. Now, 
Now, some of the biggest reasons why you would buy a device like this is because of that old nostalgia feel, right? That Blackberry Passport look, right? It, I mean, look, one of the best keyboards in the game was Blackberry. So this is one of the reasons why you might want this device. Another reason why you might want this device is the keyboard itself, a physical keyboard, not a virtual keyboard. So if you type a lot of documents or do emails like me, I'm a business owner and I do this every day, all day, it's, a physical keyboard definitely comes in handy, especially if you want the nostalgia feel. Next thing you might want uh, with this device is the massive, massive 6,000 milliamp battery. And if you're on a long flight or you have, you're on a long day, you don't want to charge this device for days. Yeah, this device will go for days on a single charge. And lastly, this device is solid. So you don't have to worry about dropping it because it comes with an included screen protector. So look, this device is rugged and ready to go. So that's some of the reasons why you might want to buy this phone. Okay, so I know this device has been out a few years, but let's talk about performance. This device has the MTP60 processor with six gigs of RAM. So typing documents, email, and browsing the web is fast enough for that. Look, you're not gonna, you know, get blazing fast performance out of this device because remember the MT processor is really fast enough for this phone. And yes, you can play games, but why would you play games on here? You know, the aspect ratio on this device won't give you a good gaming experience, but yes, you can game. And that, yes, I have gamed on here, but you know what? It's not a gaming phone. You know, as far as app opening, it does fine with the occasional hiccups here and there, especially with uh, viewing heavy web pages. You definitely would get the studies here and there. It's bright enough for outdoor use, which surprised me because I was outside with this device and I could see just fine. Now it does have a 60 hertz refresh rate, so keep that in mind but overall performance is what this device is intended to be it's very good so far it's been very good now the start of the show is the keyboard here now if you're used to typing on on-screen keyboards then you would have to get back into the groove of typing on the physical keyboard which i really like you know, kind of going back into this typing experience on a physical keyboard, you know, it was slow getting back into it, but hey, you got to learn your way. Now, the keyboard is very good. It's backlit. And look, I wish it had a fault rule for numbers and functions, but it doesn't. Uh, look, I've only having it, been having this device for about a week, so I do have to spend a little more time with it. I got future videos coming out. But as far as the typing experience, it's been pretty good. Now let's talk about these cameras. Now my expectation is not high uh, and it was exactly what I expected. Uh, let me show you guys some clips uh, with this device using the cameras and let you be the judge for yourself. All right guys, so here it is. This is the video camera here uh, on the universe uh, Titan so let's go on to see what it's all about right you know I mean it's not the best camera but I mean it's not so bad huh uh, <laughs> so let's see here I'm walking and uh, going from there let me know how you like the audio uh, let's get it to that tree the flower not a tree all right not bad focus is a little slower but not so bad I love the big display oh, oh, oh man so the big display actually a huge plus uh, for this device uh, but yeah and the focusing is not the greatest uh, see if I can tap the focus a little bit uh, but yeah look at that see if I can get on that tree a little bit but uh yeah I'm looking at the viewfinder the image quality is not that bad um, you know, it's what I expected from a device uh, like this. The main focus of this phone is more of a business aspect of it, right? Not, not too much of the cameras, but I wanted to test it out anyway. All right, so this is the front camera of the Unihurt Titan. You know, like I say, uh, it's not so bad. I love the huge uh, display on here, and I'm out here in the sun. 
So uh, it's bright enough that I can see the display. I mean, look, the display on here is absolutely amazing. It's nice and bright. Uh, the camera ain't the greatest. I mean, look at this kind of blowing out the, the background a little bit. Uh, you let me know about the audio. Uh, yeah, there it is. Ooh, let me get back here. So, all right. White balance going in it a little bit, you know. So, uh, you know, there it is. So let's talk about the pros and cons of me using this device. So about a week, again, this is not a full review. First pro is the design and build quality. It's excellent. It reminds me of the old Blackberry Passport, which I really love. It's big, it's bulky, it's heavy. I love it. I love the feel in the hand. It's wide. Love the big screen here. Uh, it has a very fast fingerprint scanner. Face unlock works as advertised. I love the function key on here, which works very good. Uh, the keyboard here is fully customizable, which is really nice. And another thing that I like so far we have this device is the battery life. This device battery life is like the Energizer Bunny. It keeps going and going and going. I'm very impressed on how good the battery life is on this device. 6,000 milliamp battery. I mean, I was two to three days with this device before I even charge it. And that is a good thing. But as you know, no device is perfect. So let's talk about the cons. First kind with this device, and it's probably a deal breaker for most people. This device is on Android 10 uh, with 2021 security patches. I don't know if this device is still getting support, but you need to know that this device is on Android 10. Next, another deal breaker, no 5G support. And that may be a huge deal breaker for some people because some people uh, want 5G because 5G is the future. And I do understand why a lot of people wanna get only 5G devices, again, for the future. So that's it. My final thoughts is I really do like this device for what it is. Like I got a bunch of videos coming out for this phone, so stay tuned and subscribe. If you like the Unihertz Titan, if you're pretty interested in this device, I will leave all product links down in the description below. Ah, man, it brings back some old nostalgia. I really do like this phone. This is Eric the Tech Preacher. See you guys on the next video. Peace.